There are many network engineers and aspiring network engineers. But do you know that network engineers have different specializations? This may vary depends on the network environment. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the most common roles of network engineers and which device they manage. It's not all Cisco routers and switches, come on! For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host. My name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data center rock star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, 3BN tutorials in cybersecurity, 3BN tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Enterprise Campus Network Engineer. Sometimes they call it Network Administrator. It still depends on the scope and how broad the responsibilities are. You mainly deal with most connections from all three layers, access, distribution, and core. You're responsible to implement and maintain connectivity from user slash endpoint towards to the internet, public cloud, and corporate data centers. You deal with users, devices such as laptops, printers, smartphones, tablets, IP camera, and many others. You also support connection and access from many different corporate users and guest users as well. Your main appliance would be layer 2 and layer 3 switches, wireless LAN controllers, few routers, and there's a lot of switching configuration. Sometimes you will work also with network security appliances, such as AAA servers, VPN concentrators, next generation firewall, and HTTP proxy, because you need also to monitor user activities. Environment is more of a combination of wired and wireless networks. And if you're lucky, you would get a broader scope and you would also be responsible with voice and video, also known as collaboration platforms. These are IP phones, call managers, telepresence, and many more. Most likely, you won't do DevNet or network automation unless it is required by the company. There will be more actions if the company has implemented or planning to implement next generation network solutions, such as SD Access slash DNAC solutions and SD WAN. Service Provider Network Engineers Most of the time, you will be working in a Managed Service Provider or NOC, a Network Operations Center. Sometimes the title is NOC Engineer or WAN Engineer. We have many different levels. We have Tier 1, 2, 3, Backbone Tier, and many more. This is a huge market. I believe this is the highest number of opportunities for any kind of network engineers. This business is simply providing network maintenance on the customer side, making sure they have a reliable connectivity via one. And part of it, if you are in a higher tier, you are also maintaining the service provider network, most common, the MPLS network. Most network engineers works and maintains those CE or the customer edge routers. Some network engineers works and maintains those PE or the provider edge routers. And few maintains the critical part, the backbone network. Your main appliances are branch routers and high-end service provider routers. And you will work with lots of dynamic routing and WAN protocols. Sometimes you will work with customer VPNs and service provider VPN gateways as well. And if you're lucky, but this is a bit rare, you would get a broader scope and you would be also responsible managing customer local access network, such as switches, wireless LAN controllers, and many more. Data center network engineers. This is where the real action is. Why? Because you're not dealing with those annoying users. And you're not only working with routers and switches, 
you are also working with servers and applications. This can be bare metal, virtualized, or containerized servers. And if you are lucky, you would also be maintaining FC switches. Uh, stands for fiber channel switches, and this is used for storage networking. It's getting less and less common though. You are also dealing with virtual network. It can be local virtual switch or distributed virtual switches. If your company is more advanced, you will also work with SDN or software defined networking and container networking as well. Also, application delivery controller is more likely present, especially if you're running hundreds or thousands of applications and services. Take note, wireless voice and video are super rare in data center network environment. And your main platforms are high-end data center switches, application delivery controller, on the server side, hypervisor or containerization, and sometimes storage devices. You will also be working on security, but more on the inbound as various applications must be protected. Uh, automation and programmability is more likely, especially if you are servicing millions or tens of millions of users per day. Because traffic pattern changes, you may need more or less workload at a given time and must automate network configuration. If you are lucky, you would get a broader scope. I am talking about hybrid cloud where we integrate data center slash on-premise network and public cloud network running in AWS, Azure, or GCP. It can be an advanced solution, and this may work with software-defined networking. And the goal is to have a simplified and consistent policy model with centralized visibility as well. This can be complicated because in cloud network, you may run virtual routers, virtual switches, with uh, multiple VPCs and regions. And the goal of hybrid cloud is you basically connect your data center to public cloud using VXLAN or tunneling protocols. And again, the goal is so that the servers from your data center to the public cloud or vice versa would communicate as if they are in the same network or just a single hop away from each other. Now, here is the question. Is there a cloud network engineer position where you only deal with networking in public clouds? Yes, it is possible, but very rare. For small companies, cloud engineers handles everything. This includes containers, network, and security. If you have more complex network in the cloud, more likely your company have data center or on-premise network as well. And you will be using, believe me, hybrid cloud. Data center network engineers and cloud network engineers always cross over in both of their roles. Maybe some of you would think and comment, oh, there is a network engineer dedicated for wireless networks only. Oh, a network engineer dedicated for firewalls and VPNs. A network engineer dedicated for collaboration. We may talk about this in another video, but the goal here is to know more about cloud and data center network engineer roles. And take note, I don't specialize in wireless, voice and video, cable management. I am the cloud and data center. Rah!